What's up, you guys? So I'm voiceovering this piece because my face still hurts and I'm drooling a little bit. So this is the hand-painted, resin-coated, um, Labradorite-ish piece that I did recently, um, inspired by Victor B Barone. Barone? Mm, I can never say it proper, so it's Victor, and he is a super talented artist with, like, hand-painted... Um, natural stones. And anyways, this is inspired by him. I'll link him down below. So first thing I did was spray paint my background gold, even though I wanted to leave it more translucent and transparent for it to show through a bit. Did not come off that way. So I don't know if that part was really necessary, but uh, Victor used gold leaf and he used much more translucent paint, which I'm planning to do on the next one. And so after I have my aquas and greens and blues down, I spray painted the perimeter and I'm drawing some, or drawing, painting on some black like fault lines or cracks and trying to paint in some different textures and um, directional lighting and hues and shadows. Uh, because if you really look at um, a Labradorite, it has a whole bunch of stuff going on in it. And I am going to try this again, but I'm pretty proud of how this one turned out. I'm just using really watered down um, acrylic paint. You can also add a little bit of glycerin, which is what I'm going to do next time in order to like make your acrylic paints more blendable and not dry out quite as much. So I'm using a lot of water with my paints as I am building the depth and the visual interest of the different layers. I, I don't know if I edited them in, but I did let a lot of the layers dry completely before um, going on the next next layer. Um, and that just, it just helps to build the depth. Um, also, I thought about adding some purple into it, but I didn't want to confuse anything, so I left it out. But I did use aqua, phthalo blue, a lime green, a turquoise, a teal, and black and white for sure. And also it was different variations of the um, turquoises and teals. Very different shades. Multiple different shades. Um, the secret that I learned from trial and error and watching Victor to the white lines is... Um, putting a line down and then kind of extending it with a water drenched uh, paintbrush. Um, and he also uses a dry brush to blend out his lines. Brilliant. Um, and it really makes the piece look kind of softer, like an oil painting, at least in my opinion. And then I use stone coat art coat to flood it with a little bit of abalone shell for the sparkle. And I'm going to be doing a second layer on this piece, but what do you guys think? Um, I would love to know what you would add, what you would change, and what I should do on the second layer. Till then, be kind to one another because you never know what someone's going through. And always remember, we do the test so you don't have to. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!